First of all, the uh, Secret Service woman uh, resigns today. Yep. Uh, appropriately so, I think. Of course. Um, you know, the guy hops the fence on September 19th, um, and he's not exactly a well dressed man, you know, and uh, he's got a knife. And he runs 70 yards, 70 yards, mm -hmm. all right? <clears throat> and the Jets signed him after that. I don't know if you know I that. told that joke last <laughs> night. Now, now, cut that out. <laughs> now, stop that. You can't be so, stealing. So the guy, the guy <laughs> hops the fence, which is no easy thing to do, right. right? And then he runs 70 yards into the White House, and then he goes in inside, mm -hmm. all right? Mm -hmm. And he goes to the green room, and nobody... Nobody stops him. Yeah. Then a Secret Service woman confronts him. He overpowers her. And then finally they wise up and say, there's a, there's a guy in here. But here's the serious part of this. This guy could have had a suicide vest on. That's yeah. what these people do. That's right. You know? and, and to think that our Secret Service is that inept at that high a level, right. it's frightening. Well, I'll tell you what's frightening, because as a kid, you believe that certain things are unassailable. And at the top of the list would be protection for the president. Right. And, and now to learn that it's, it's like Costco security guards. And, <laughs> and no offense, yeah, putting they're Costco better. security guards in there, right. uh, I mean, it's a real eye-opener. You think, what really do we have left that we can believe in unqualified? You know what? Uh, the Secret Service, and I know a lot of them, they're very dedicated, good people, and they would lose their lives to protect sure. uh, our presidents and other people. So I hate to see them thrown into this. Mm -hmm. It's management, you know? It's management. And, and, and you look at one department after another, and they have these people in there, most of them political appointees, uh, who don't know what they're doing. But, you know, this woman's now, out. How, she how do we know they don't know what they're doing? Well... When you run an agency like the Secret Service, who are procuring hookers right. in uh, but now, Columbia let me stop you there before the president gets there. You oh. and I have both had our share of hookers. <laughs> and me. So that's, that's just a, we, not we me. To, we have to, Bill and I no, will have to no, excuse no, no. ourselves from this conversation. <laughs> Not in that club. But now that's not management. The guys go down to Colombia. Yeah. Uh, was it where in Colombia was it? Car I think it was Bogota. in Bogota. Yeah. Yes. And and they say, hey, hookers uh, are free. Might have been in Cartagena. Cart yeah. And, and so so they just go crazy and get some hookers. But did you see? It's, it's so, a but culture. now that's not really management. It's a culture. Oh, now you can't tell me that the culture of the Secret Service is. Let me give hey, you boys example. while you're out of town. You Let know, me give you an example. Have a little... If General Patton were in charge of the Secret <laughs> well, Service, no, and the guys did that, yeah. guess what would happen to yeah, them? You know? be, yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. So there, there's a culture that's, that's grown up in this uh, country. Well, um, I mean, you're that is absolutely leading to right. I, can't ar I, I don't know about the culture, but I can't argue with you on the point of what if uh, one of these things had taken a turn beyond, and then we'd be having a whole absolutely. different... Absolutely. And, whole and different you know, now we hear uh, that the, a guy got in the elevator with President Obama, that? you know, we, we, and he had felony on his, on his rap sheet. Carrying so, a gun, right? Yeah, it's, it, this is out of control, yeah, so we need to get in. I and agree. It, it might be the fence thing may be a little karma payback for the southern border. What, you know, um, when, when uh, well, I don't know. <laughs> but when, uh, when the Secret Service guys are here, they... they Scare the holy heck out of them. They're good, very efficient yeah. guys. First of all, the uh, Secret Service woman uh, resigns today. Yep. Uh, appropriately so, I think. Of course. Um, you know, the guy hops the fence on September 19th, um, and he's not exactly a well dressed man, you know, and uh, he's got a knife. And he runs 70 yards, 70 yards, mm -hmm. all right? <clears throat> and the Jets signed him after that. I don't know if you know I that. told that joke last night. Now, now cut that out. <laughs> now, stop that. You can't be so, stealing. So the guy, the guy <laughs> hops the fence, which is no easy thing to do, right. right? And then he runs 70 yards into the White House, and then he goes in inside, mm -hmm. all right? Mm -hmm. And he goes to the green room, and nobody, nobody stops him. Yeah. Then a Secret Service woman confronts him. He overpowers her. And then, finally, they wise up and say, there's a, there's a guy in here. But here's the serious part of this. This guy could have had a suicide vest on. That's yeah. what these people do. That's right. You know? and, and to think that our Secret Service is that inept at that high a level, right. it's frightening. Well, I'll tell you what's frightening, because as a kid, you believe that certain things are unassailable, and at the top of the list would be protection for the president.